Call the District of Chetwin meeting to order. We will have statement. Red, please. As we begin our meeting this evening, we reflect on the service we provide to our citizens and we will endeavor to conduct our business effectively and productively on their behalves. Thank you. Adoption of the agenda. Any new business? I guess we should. Uh, any new business from council? Can Can I add one here? Uh, update on our. Uh, is it in here on the cannabis license? Oh no, it's not in here. But we can. Can, can we sure. just because? Okay, let's uh, add that uh, announcement made for the cannabis store. Okay. Anything else from council? Okay. I had a seconder. I, I have motion and a seconder. Okay. All those in favor? Carry. Okay. Minutes of the regular meeting in September 3rd, 2019. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Carried. Delegation, introduction of our new fire chief, Curtis Redpath. So, Curtis. Yep. If anybody has any questions about what we're doing here in Chatwin, we've hired a new fire chief. That's what we're doing here in Chatwin, and I'd like to thank I'd like to thank you for taking the position and welcome you to our little town of Chatwin, our our district of Chatwin. So thank you very much for accepting that position, and hopefully that we will have a great relationship with the community and yourself. Thank you for uh, doing this for us, Curtis. And if there's uh, anything you would like to uh, ask. I'm going to give you this opportunity to ask it of us right now. So if you can, I believe that Mike is working. And if uh, anything that you think of in the next little while, get a hold of Carol. <laughs> but right now, here's your opportunity, Curtis, if you want to just say welcome and uh, where you're from a little bit. And uh, that, that'd be fine with us. Thank you very much. Excuse me. Uh, yeah, please. Thank you, Curtis. Uh, thank you. It's a uh, it's a great pleasure to come to Chatwind. Um, you know, I'm I'm from Fort St. John. Uh, the last thirty years, twenty some years, twenty seven years. So um, we always come to Chatwind, uh, especially the wave pool. So uh, it's an honor to come here and uh, and work with the teams. Uh, in the fire department, and I look forward to, to working with everyone. Um, so far, everyone's been very accommodating and uh, lots of information to, uh, to gather. So um, yeah, it's been six days now, so um, it's been extremely busy for me. So thank you very much. Thank you, Curtis. If uh, any counselors have any uh, questions, here's your opportunity, or just to welcome in any takers. Okay, thank you, Curtis, for your presentation, and uh, hopefully you're here for 30 years. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much. Okay, thanks, Curtis. Okay, we're on to bylaws. I believe, I believe it's B. Did we want to read notes here? Uh, the Chetwin Zoning Amendment bylaw number uh, uh, 1100 2019 uh, 51 Nicholson Road is included under the reports for action. P proportion of this agenda as item number RA1. Has everybody got the RA1 on here? Okay. It's been read. 
Or do we want to uh, read that? Carol? Do you want to do it later? Or do we yep. okay. Yes, we, we, we'll move it to RA1 after, but it's there. It's Okay, we'll continue and we'll go on to B1. Uh, district? Questions? We're good? Oh, okay, uh, I've got a note here and under the bylaws and it's go district to Chetwin zoning amendment bylaw uh, 1100. To, oh, okay. So, so yes, so that, that was a note I read and now we're going to B1. So we'll deal with uh, uh, that note on RA1. Okay. B1, District of Chetwin, Street Traffic uh, Regular Amendment, bylaw number uh, 1101, 2019, regular first, second, and third reading. Can I have somebody? Uh, Can I make the motion to go ahead with first, second, and third reading? Second? Any second? Okay. Any discussion? Yes. Okay, so I, I still don't agree with this bylaw. I, I think by saying that the road is just going to be closed from that date to that date, it's just too wide open. I don't think it's fair to our residents to not be able to expect to park on the streets. So, and, and I was looking at all the other communities, and I'm sorry, my mic wasn't on. Um, other communities and how their process, and I just pulled a, an excerpt from Grand Prairies. Yes. Street program, and I'm just going to read a little bit of it, which I think is a, it works good. Um, it says when the snow falls, or is forecasted, they put a ban on from 7 to 7, and it'll be announced 24 hours before the crews begin removing snow. Once the snow removal is complete, the parking on the roadways will be permitted again. And then one of the questions is, how do you know when there's a parking ban in effect on that neighborhood? So at each end of each street, there's a no parking on roadway sign that they put out so the people on that street realize that their, their street, they're not allowed to park on it. When the, par when the plowing is done, the sign is turned. So then they know that they're good to park on that street again. I just think by telling everyone that you're not allowed to park in your street from May the 1st or October the 1st to May the 30th is just is wrong. And um, I know Dawson and Fort St. John, I both looked at theirs and I couldn't find any rules about saying they're not allowed to park in their streets. Any more discussion? <coughs> yeah, I mean, I, I, I don't really look at it that way. I think the streets will be plowed when there's a snowfall, and I think that would trigger the person who's parking on the street to move their vehicle. I mean, there's common sense, right? When it's beautiful, there's no snowfall. If they need to park on the street, they can. But when we have a heavy snowfall, then that should, you know, make them aware then that but it doesn't say that. It doesn't say Counselor? that. Counselor? Counselor? That's, the, yeah, that's, and, and it doesn't, um, but I mean, there's got to be some common sense involved here. Thank you. Yes. Counselor? I, I just think when you're talking a bylaw, yeah. I don't think common sense should have to play a role in it. I think the bylaw should be written so that you, people can just look at it and say, oh, okay, I got it. They shouldn't have to assume, well, if I park this time, am I going to get away this time? Am I, you know, I don't think it's their job to decide what our bylaws, or understand our bylaws, right? And generally speaking, I believe the, the snow removal is done quite well around Chetwin. It's done, if we have a heavy snowfall, it's usually done, the whole town is done. They usually do a good job, but um, they're, apparently they're looking for some help in, in some certain areas where they just can't get the plows down. We, we have to come up with something one way or the other. I think, I, I'm not sure of the full answer myself, but they do need some help in, some, in, in the more restricted streets. Okay. Josh. I was just gonna say, when we have a heavy snowfall and the guys are downtown, they do have the sandwich boards up, don't they? I've yes. seen them myself. Downtown, yeah. 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 They don't do it on the, the roads around town? No, no. Okay. So going back to the uh, snow clearing policy, I was doing some research today, and it states that uh, plowing of residential streets is at the discretion of the roads and facilities coordinator, and in most cases, residential streets will be plowed within 48 hours following the subsidence of the snowfall. So what we're looking to do is basically offer a, a better service than we're 
currently providing. That's that's kind of the idea. Okay. But I, I but no, I don't sir. think by writing that portion in our bylaw is a better. I, I mean, I've had a couple of people make comments to me. It's like, what, we can't park on our own street from October the 1st to May the 31st? Like, that's, that's asinine, right? And, and I agree with them. I mean, there's got to be a way of us to word it better and to, to deal with it a little bit better than just saying, no, you're done. You can't park in your road. And you can't use common sense because it's not in the bylaw. Uh, like I, I can see having the sandwich boards uptown because these are designated par uh, parking places and parking lots, but I don't really think that residential roads are designated parking areas. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but there are areas to drive on, and, and having too many vehicles in the road at any time of the year creates hazards. Uh, kids can run out of there, and it definitely restricts visibility of, um, of pedestrians and whatnot. We don't have a lot of sidewalks in town either, so... The, the roads aren't designated parking places to begin with in neighborhoods, I don't believe. Yeah, and, and right. I agree, but people are using them. Not very many people have uh, only two vehicles in a family. If they do have two vehicles, the husband usually has a company truck, or there's always extra, or your kids each have vehicles. So, I mean, it's just, it, I just think it's wrong for us to just say you're not allowed to park <coughs> on the road, no matter what the circumstances. is. So. That's my opinion. We've heard before that uh, there's more than one vehicle in a, in a household because we do uh, rent our uh, extra rooms out. So there's a, there's a third vehicle right there. And uh, we shouldn't restrict our uh, residents. Uh, my, uh, my thought on this matter is that we should not restrict any uh, person living in Chetwin by our bylaws to live a, de a decent life in Chetwin. But if we are to improve our uh, quality of uh, uh, giving our service to our uh, residents, we probably don't have to be able to put it down in a bylaw and say this is common sense, that we should be giving our uh, citizens this common sense. Uh, but on the other hand, too, is that we have to have something there for them to look at. And if we decide that we're going to make this uh, amendment and put it in here. There is always the thing of taking it out, I believe, uh, if, I'm, if I'm correct, uh, staff? Yes, you can always amend a, a bylaw at any time. Thank you. And if we try a different approach rather than having this amendment, because we could bring this amendment to us again, but if we have another opportunity to do something for our citizens is bring the signage if we can and uh, participate that way with our citizens to make sure that we, as a council and as mayor, that we are trying both avenues and we're gonna try this way. If we de defeat this today and try something new, and if it doesn't work, we could always come back in an amendment, and we should be uh, softer on our community and saying, let's, uh, let's try something. If it doesn't work, and uh, staff comes back, and we get uh, complaints that we're having too many vehicles on there, uh, let's, uh, let's have a look at it, because this, this one here, if we're gonna put it in place, then we're gonna be in trouble. We're gonna be asking towing, we're gonna be uh, getting to knocking on doors, Let's uh, do a, a little bit of this campaign to tell them, look, we're, we don't want to do this, but if common sense is not going to be involved here, we're, we're going to have to do this and uh, make the bylaw. So I say then, uh, in my, my opinion on this matter is that I don't like the, the amendment right as is today. I don't like it today, but in the future we should be making a decision if if the if uh, the staff needs help then we should that we should be here to do that but as of right now i i'm speaking against this uh, amendment so can we go can back to the drawing table on this bylaw I believe if we leave it right now and uh, give staff an opportunity to uh, come up with something to present to us uh, or to uh, Carol that she can convey it to the rest of us, uh, mayor and council, then, then, then we'll have a look at it. But as right now, I, I don't see we need the, the amendment right at this time. Thank you. You're welcome. 
Any more discussion? Carol? Staff? Just wondering, did you want to defeat it, or do you want me, or do you want to table it, and we'll come back with something? Or? I believe we're, uh, we've got this, I believe we'll either vote for it or defeat it, because we, we shouldn't be, how long, how long, I'm going to ask a question to staff, how long are we allowed, or is a tabling of an amendment because we might have other stuff in there that we want to put in there yeah. to an amendment, an amendment right? Yeah, so it doesn't have to be this one. We could mm -hmm. come up with another one. Sure, yeah, there's no time limit. Okay. However long you want. Can I ask a question? Uh, go ahead. Uh, just through you to our yes. uh, Director of Public Works here, is this, is this a bylaw proposed to achieve the standards that we have set out for you? I mean, you've, you've got a standards for road maintenance and, mm -hmm. and road clearing that you have to achieve. And are you having difficulty achieving it today? And that's why this is on the table. Uh, I wouldn't say difficulty. It's just about kind of offering a better service generally. Mm -hmm. There's been four or five instances where, you know, Legion Sub, for example, or Crown Sub, where we can't get in and do the plowing because okay. we have cars parked on the side of the road. Okay. So by introducing this amendment, we would then basically get the opportunity to go in ahead of time and kind of tow the cars out of the way and then get in and do the plowing. Right. Okay. So, I mean, if we were to take this back to the table to mm -hmm. try to alter this bylaw, what we'd really be altering most likely is the level of service that we're providing for the citizens. Yeah. Laura? And, and I think we would be, the service would be better because I think, there, I think there's ways that we can give 24-hour notification to the people on that street by these signs. Like, the, I, I don't think it'd be that expensive to create signs that we could put on the ends of each street and your driver, whoever can go down and say, okay, this is gonna be plowed. You got 24 hours to get your vehicles out of there. If you don't, then you can get a ticket or a plow or a tow or whatever. But the way social media and everything is, I think there's so many avenues that we can advertise and get people's attention. I was gonna say, well, the people of Chetwin have a tolerance to wait 24 hours to get their road plowed. Because typically our guys get in and do it on the day. The entire town is done on the day. Mm -hmm. And they might the not. Event. They might not, but you know what? There's got to be a better way of advising them that we're going to do it. So what's the wishes of council? Table this amendment or defeat this amendment or carry on with a vote? Uh, we've got a seconder for the motion. So uh, anybody going to make motion that we uh, table it or we're going to go straight to a vote? If, Janet? yeah, I'll make the motion if that's what it takes to table this, this reading and I guess. Revisit? Yeah. Okay. After some editing. Okay. Second. Okay. All those in favor of uh, tabling? <coughs> yep. And, okay, count. All those in favor of tabling the, the, mo uh, the amendment? And good. And all those opposed. Okay. Tabled. Okay. Okay, it's tabled. So uh, we'll continue with the, our agenda. Okay. Any committee? Any uh, committee reports? Uh, do we have any uh, on our agenda? Okay. Must. You bet. I just have okay. a little more. Uh, we will have a CR2 council report. Mel Deck. Okay, I'd just like to make sure everyone knows that the Cops for Cancer Tour to North will be going through Chetman this Wednesday and Thursday. They will be arriving around 6.30 p.m. at the uh, Tourist Information Center, come out and have a free hamburger or a hot dog and meet the riders. We have a local representative um, from our detachment, Constable, Constable Lennon Cruz will be doing the, the ride throughout from, uh, from Dawson Creek to Williams Lake. And uh, they will be also visiting some of the local schools while they're in town. Thank you, Mel. So any, any other reports? See any? Discussion. 
We will go to the email from the Peace River Regional District dated September 9th, 19-126, uh, Stracken referral. I'll make that recommendation that uh, Council direct administration to provide any comments on this application. Second. All those in favor? Discussion? No, just where would the comments be coming from? Sorry, where would the comments be coming from? Or would we be making them? Or, or would the... Go ahead, staff. I was just going to say, if you do have any comments, if you just want to let me know, and I'll communicate them back to the PRAD. Okay. Thank you. Any more? Okay, not seeing any. All those in favor? Okay, carried. <clears throat> Correspondence. Does anybody see anything in there that we have that might be uh, drawn out? I'll second that. All those in favor? Gary? Okay, moving on. Information items. All those in favor? Gary? Reports of action, uh, for action. RA1. Here we go, Laura. This is the yeah well, um, that we had a note and i just have to excuse myself in conflict of interest on this one okay okay noted i would like to make the recommendation that the district of chetwin zoning amendment bylaw 1100 2019 be introduced and given first and second readings and then a public hearing be scheduled to obtain public in input on the above bylaw on October 7th, 2019 at 4 p.m. I'll second that. All those in favor? Gary? RA2. Proposed District of Chetwin Cemetery Bylaw Amendment. Okay, this one is uh, proposed. To update the District of Chetwin Cemetery Bylaw number 902-2009. I'll make the recommendation that the report be received for information. Second. Any discussion? I have a question on that. Like, so More? now what does that mean? Like, what does that mean for this now? Because I know we have the new Colibarium and stuff like that for mm -hmm. prices. So if we receive this whole report for information, what happens to that? Carol? Um, I think what um, Councillor Deck is saying is you don't favor any increases, any fee increases? No, no I, just, I, I, I just don't feel right with fee increases okay. at, at a time when people are dealing with very expensive items and it's a very hard time on families. Sure. Um, so I think we would have to prepare an amendment that includes the columbarium if we, if this is, if the motion is uh, carried to receive for information, we would ask that we could prepare an amendment just to deal with the columbarium. Okay, we've got a recommendation from staff. Uh, we still have to deal with the information one. So we have to defeat the information one prior to us uh, making an amendment. That's correct, staff? Okay, uh, to do well, in favor, correct me? You could also do an amendment and then come back to the main motion. You could do it two ways. 
<laughs> okay, let's make the amendment. We're going to make we're going to make an amendment to this. Uh, and if staff would want to read it out to us, please. So the amendment would be to instruct administration to prepare an amendment to cemetery bylaw number nine zero zero seven two thousand nine to include fees for use of the columbarium. I'll make that motion. Second. Any discussion on the amendment? All those in favor? Opposed? Okay, carried. Okay, receive for information. We have a seconder on that. We need to, uh, any more discussion on it? All those in favor? For the information we're receiving now for information with the amendment. Discussion, Mel? Um, no, we're, we've, we've made the amendment, now we're, uh, we're receiving information with the amendment. Okay, so they're, they're, they're all, the only thing that would be changing then would be the fees to the columbarium. There would be no increase in fees to anything else? That's correct. Okay. Good. Okay. okay. All those in favor? Oh, Janet. I have a question. Ahead, so when the, this will come back then on agenda for next meeting that's correct and we will still have an opportunity to discuss the fees for the columbarium that's correct. thank you yep okay any more okay all those in favor okay all right reports new business uh we just had a report i believe uh, we've got one item from the, the new business for the right. mm -hmm. on our license for our new uh, for the cannabis uh, store. Do you want me to? Yes, okay. please. Yeah. So we received a, a correspondence from the province advising that uh, Deer Cannabis has been approved for a retail cannabis outlet. Uh, it was on council's agenda a couple of months ago for whether council approved it or not. So council did approve it and that information was conveyed to the province and they've now approved the retail store. So he still has to go through the business licensing component and have some inspections done, but it's uh, another, it's well on its way. Thank you very much. Any questions, uh, councillors? Okay, good. Uh, public. Any public questions? Okay, not seeing any. We're open to adjourn. Or okay. thank you, thank you very much.